Hey guys, this month I'm going to be doing not a top 5, but a top 10. And it's going to be focused on my top 10 favorite booktubers. Well, this is the first time I've done a top 10. If you've been watching my channel, I just do top 5s. But the reason for this top 10 is because I was having an extremely hard time narrowing it down to just 5 booktubers. And I felt like just five was not really fair and didn't really give you just the whole scope of all of my favorite people to watch. Normally my top five videos I count down from five, four, three, two, one, and I'm not going to do that here. I'm, I'm just going to list everybody in alphabetical order. And if you want to visit their channels and subscribe, I'm going to leave everyone's links down below in the description box. So let's get going. Number one, Amanda Thompson. She is just so fun and one of the most enthusiastic people I've seen on booktube. I think me and her have a lot in common in terms of our tastes of books and the types of things we like and dislike in regard to books. And I kind of came across her channel when she was doing this series of videos for NaNoWriMo and she was just talking about the writing process and how to better develop your writing and characters and plot, etc. She, even though it was focused kind of on NaNoWriMo, I really found it helpful personally because I love to write and I've never participated in NaNo NaNoWriMo, but her videos were still extremely helpful. And like I said, I just really adore all of her book reviews. Number two is A Mind Needs Books. She is just so sweet and thoughtful. And she tends to kind of do, I think, mostly YA books. But the type of YA she reads is pretty much the type of YA that I myself am interested in since I'm so picky with YA. So she's kind of a YA reviewer that I find very trustworthy since I'm someone who is so picky with that genre. Plus, she always comments on my videos. She may not comment on every single video, but she comments on a good percentage of them. And I always always love hearing what she has to say. And I feel like she's a very active booktuber. At number three is Odom Intha. Wow, she's just so hilarious, you guys. I love her blunt honesty. I mean, she just does not care what anyone else's opinion is. If she hates a book, she hates a book. And I love that. I love blunt honesty in booktubers because it's refreshing. Because sometimes I can tell when a booktuber is kind of being phony about something and they're just saying something nice to say something nice. So if you want just a really blunt, honest reviewer, then Odom Intha is the girl for you. And she's also someone who tends to, to comment on my videos all the time. And when I'm looking through other comments on other booktubers, I see her name pop up all the time. So she's a very active booktuber. Number four is Bookworm Tales. Um, she's someone who has a lot of diversity with, with her books, um, which is something I really like since I'm a vi very diverse reader myself. And the types of books she reads, I think, are things that I would be, be interested in myself if, if I've not already read them. And I, I feel like she's a very concise booktuber. She keeps her, her thoughts very uh, just limited and to the point, and her videos tend to be kind of short. Number five is Cup of Books. Like Bookworm Tales, I believe she is a very precise booktuber. She keeps her things very short and simple. Cup of Books, I really like just how she kind of frames her videos, uh, how she shoots her videos. Uh, it's just very simplistic, but there's just something I really like about it that's just really easy on the eye. And a lot of times I think she does kind of different things with her videos that I don't see other booktubers do. And she has this series of videos called Comics Corner, which I personally love, because I've kind of been wanting to get in more into comics, if you cannot tell from my cute little t-shirt. <laughs> like she did a Comics Corner on like Thor and did like an Asgardian edition where she just was uh, telling you what kind of um, Thor type comics you might like. Number six is Emma Gorowski, and I always feel like I'm pronouncing your name wrong. She is a booktuber who pretty much does historical fiction reviews. Uh, she doesn't really too, do too much with her channel, which is fine. Um, 
because she's kind of my go-to for historical fiction because I hardly ever see other people do historical fiction since that's my favorite genre. And me and her have like kind of similar tastes in our favorite eras, especially in regards to the Tudors and the Plantagenets, I believe. So I, I always find her reviews of historical fiction very trustworthy. And she's also a very concise booktuber too. Her videos are just really straight and to the point. It's like, when I do reviews, I wish I could just say my feelings straight up like how she does. At number seven is the Gwendolyn Reading Method. And she is very much like Amanda Thompson, who I mentioned first in this video. Uh, the Gwendolyn Reading Method, she's just so enthusiastic and just very on top of things and so fun to watch. And she just does this very unique thing with her camera. Uh, where she'll have a far shot and then a close-up and it kind of just goes back and forth and it kind of keeps her videos from being boring. And my favorite series of videos that she does that, that is just a must-watch for me is her Goodreads Psychic videos where she basically takes other booktubers, goes through their Goodreads, and recommends them a book or two that she thinks they would enjoy. And I always find that her her recommendations are spot on and I don't know how she takes the time to sit and go through people's Goodreads because that seems like such a time-consuming task and I just don't think I would have the patience to do that but congrats to you. <laughs> At number eight is The Shades of Orange and I really love her videos. She reviews a lot of adult fiction and a lot of adult fiction that I am genuinely interested in reading myself and she's just so friendly and nice and uh once again, a concise booktuber. I, I think that's my favorite type of booktuber. Even though I myself, I don't think am good at that. I don't think I'm a very concise booktuber. And she's also someone that she'll regularly comment on the majority of my videos. And whenever I'm scrolling through comments on other people's videos, I always see her name there. At number nine is a duo, and they go by Stephanie Spines and Tim. And they are just so fun to watch. They're not like really hyperactive like some booktubers can be. They, they just kind of, they're kind of chill. They're kind of chill and relaxed and calm, and they kind of just state their feelings and then and, and they're done. And like I, like I said, very concise. And I love how they just, they're, they're, they're banter back and forth. They really play off of each other very well. And lastly is Unmanaged Mischief. And this is a booktuber I think I have a lot in common with her too in, in terms of favorite genres. She reads a lot of fantasy and I think adult books more often. So she's kind of like a, a fantasy go-to for me. And once again, I, I feel like I've been saying this for everybody, just a very concise booktuber and she states her, her thoughts and the reviews are done with. And she, she always makes me kind of interested in, in reading whatever she's talking about. So that's it for my top 10 favorite booktubers. I kind of feel extremely guilty, like I'm leaving some very important people out. And I, I just wanted to kind of stick with 10 because if I went any further, this video would be incredibly long. And I also wanted to pick 10 people who have a subscriber count of under 1,000. A lot of these people are extremely close to 1,000. Some of them are in like the 700, 800, 900 range. Because I do, I do have a lot of other subscribers who are past a thousand, but I really wanted to give some attention and focus to these particular people because I think they are very deserving. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to all these people and, and let me know if you do and how you enjoy their videos. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.